what's happening. Oh, folks. Last night I was on a mission, and my pilot was slowing us down while I was completely heads down, absorbed in the tads, trying to find targets. Until suddenly, we start sinking and we start shaking violently. I thought I'd scan the area very well, nothing, no threats nearby that could have shot us, I didn't hear any bangs or bullet pings, and we just hit the deck hard. And suddenly afterwards in tag view that I confirmed my suspicion that it probably was actually Vortex Ring State. Pilot was slowing down quite rapidly, we started entering quite a drastic sink rate, and from there it was all downhill. Didn't matter if my pilot had up the collective to try and save us, it would have just slammed down harder given those same parameters. Now when I made my first video on the Apache and sort of basic flight and helo dynamics, I tested vortex ring state and it wouldn't happen. Like, I think I almost hit a 3000 feet per minute descent rate and kept that with almost zero airspeed. It wouldn't get into it and you could just recover. So sometime after the last couple of patches, and I may be blind, but I don't recall seeing anything specifically about it, vortex ring state has been introduced into the Apache. Now, generally the accepted parameters is you need to be below effective translational lift, so a hover or below 25 knots, and you need to have a sink rate of greater than 500 feet per minute. So that's also what the guides say, you know, when you're going in for a landing, have up to 500 feet per minute descent rate. Finally, the third condition is you need to have some power applied, so 20% or greater collective usually, just meaning you're not in an auto-rotative windmill state. So here you can see me slow down, as yet in this very current build of the open beta Apache, I'm finding it's you know below beneath 25 knots and the center of maybe 750, 800 ish feet that it starts kicking in, and you start experiencing the shakes. And at this point, increasing collective is not going to help you save the day. Here. In fact, you know that's also just settling with power, and you're trying to arrest a massive descent rate and momentum change just with collective, not the greatest thing. So the typical classical way of recovering from this is you want to gain some airspeed, you lower the collective and you enter an auto-rotative state and that I guess also helps shed the rotor tip vortices that you're creating. The thing is this does cost you quite a bit of altitude though. And if you don't have a lot of altitude to spare, like you were coming in for a landing and you made a mistake, or you try to hover out of ground effect and but quite low, you don't have that room to do that in. You know, drop the collective, gain airspeed, gain effective translational lift, 25 knots or over, and have the shaking stop, and then you start increasing collective. You don't have time for those full set of procedures sometimes. An alternative, and I'm probably mangling this gentleman's surname, is the Vichard technique. And this involves, in a case like the Apache, instead of lowering collective, you're going to bank 10 to 20 degrees cyclic to the right, and sort of gaining airspeed, and at the same time, you're trying to not fully just gain airspeed, but you're trying to shift yourself out of the current disrupted airflow and that those vortices aren't cycling back in the same positions on your rotor disc. So you're going to apply a right cyclic 10 to 20 degrees and at the same time a bit of left pedal and gradually increasing your collective to probably take off power. Just try not to over talk and of course watch your RPMs don't go too low. And this way you can get it recovering possibly within a shorter time span than just lowering the collective and trying to get airspeed to get out of it. I'm going to link in the description an excellent video by Tim Tucker from the Robinson Company 
and he takes you through the history of vortex ring state and how it can happen, the symptoms behind it, the classical recovery, the reasons why, some diagrams about how the rotor disc works. Check that out. Just do note, vortex ring state is one of those things where apparently it's quite hard to mathematically model and simulate. Mostly what I'm trying to say is right now in DCS, current build, this is what's happening with Apache. And that's how you get out of it. And ideally, just avoid it. You know, if you're slowing down, if you're beneath 25 knots, just watch your descent rate. Having an overdeveloped descent rate is anyway hard to arrest without trying to use excessive collective and excessive torque. So, hope this helps stop the shakes and regain control of your flight. This Volk. Enjoy.